Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome, new subscribers. Scorpio, you and your person. Scorpio, we're using the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. The Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. That didn't work very well, did it? Let's try again, Spirit. Spirit's always in the house. Thank you, Spirit. Scorpio, you and your person. Scorpio, let's get her on and let's get her done. Scorpio, you're all over energy, judgment. Knight of Wands, Three of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups. Mm. The Emperor. Your person. Spirit says shuffle. Let's shuffle them up. Let's go. Scorpio, your person. They're all over energy. Let's give them one cut. They're all over energy. Ten of Cups. Holy crap. King of Cups. Get ready. The world. Queen of Cups. Eight of Cups. <laughs> Chariot. <laughs> Here comes the bastard. Let's put another card out. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Scorpio. The passion, the love from the past was short lived. Someone here had a great love for money. Someone had a great love for love, but it was short-lived. It probably started fast, and it uh, probably ended fast. I see, once again, waiting for a ship to come in, waiting for truth. I feel that your person that you were interested in was someone who probably brutally told the truth. Someone who, um, this is someone who is strong. They can be egotistical at times. They can be, um, they can't take constructive criticism. So if you were to say something about the way they were dressed or the way their hair was cut, they would probably lash back with an insult and say, oh yeah, well you're fat, kind of thing. You know, they can't take any kind of criticism. I do feel that there was some kind of brutal truth that came out of this emperor. I think that when they spoke, they spoke with, they, they spoke truthfully, but it was uh, really kind of brutal. It was kind of brutal the way they spoke. Now I do see that judgment uh, blows its mighty trumpet and it's meant to come around again. There's something here with your person because they're all over energy is feeling the Ten of Cups. I don't know if you shared a home with your person, Scorpio, or 
if you were planning on sharing a home. But I really feel that for a while there was great passion in probably doing this. And, and they just changed their mind out of the blue. The, their mind was changed. There was a, a stepping out of a situation, out of one cycle and into another. They offered, from what I can see here, is that they may have offered their cup to someone else. They may have offered their love elsewhere and might have walked away from you. But I'm really seriously believing that wherever they went, that they're walking away from that. Because again, the same as they did for you, they did for another and what they did was they were brutal. They couldn't take any kind of constructive criticism. They couldn't take any kind of a no for an answer. and Or they couldn't take anybody that might have stood up to them or, or spoke out against them. But you better get ready because we got the chariot that's coming in here. And when I got the chariot, then the bastardo comes in. Now, the Bastardo, as you know, is a deceptive messenger, is someone who can come and smiling, happy, and you think it's good news, and then they slam you with an eviction notice. So, what kind of news do we have? We have that this person, your person, Scorpio, does have a, you know what, I I just really can't see any kind of love because I think that this, this person, I think your person's got so much love for themselves. I really just feel a very big ego here that I really don't think that they take the time to show love to another they they tend to um take care of their wants and their needs but what the hell am i reading here there is great Ooh. okay so just the thing is is that they do feel scorpio they they do feel the passion They feel a great potential around you that things will work well. But they also get this kind of karmic thing that kicks into them. And I, I don't, it's got to be their ego that just, when, when I've got justice here, normally justice would be for the both of you. Or it would be karma for one. But spirit is really talking here that for this Scorpio, your person's got this justification about themselves. They got this, what am I reading? Picking up on a narcissist or something here. I, I don't know. I hate to use that word. And, but it's apparent here that that they do very much care for you and that there are great feelings but but they get very very strange they get uh dominant they get uh boisterous they speak out they 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 bark out if they feel that maybe someone might be attacking them and it could be just small pieces of conversation but they feel that they that they must defend themselves. This must have been someone who who lived a life a, as a young child where, and growing up where they had to defend themselves all the time. Because it's someone who obviously feels they have to, that they're under attack. But it, it is a soulmate. But it's just, i got to get a couple more cards and see... Let's see what kind of energy we got here, Scorp. Let's 
the love of money, that's for sure. And feeling guarded. Okay, so we've got the soulmate. We we got that they do feel prosperous, that, that things will work between the two of you. And then they become guarded and they speak out or they might get loud or a little bit demanding or or if it's a female just start screaming and screeching and and if it's a guy just bellowing and it just there is great possibility though that um they're coming back it's someone that feels that they can uh be around you and be themselves i truly feel with the eight of cups here they might have gone off with a pisces cancer scorpio but I do feel, um, Scorp, I do feel um, that there's not too many people that would put up with this energy because they're very difficult to maneuver around. Let me put some, uh, a couple more cards out for you. There's my ride. couple more cards so for you so you manifest it and you you manifest this uh, okay so there you go Scorpio you know you dream about it you want it you think about it all the time you think about you, you want them to marry you and I, you know I actually have this marriage card here marriage and the reception right here you do manifest that someday maybe the two of you will get married and the whole city is on fire and you just you just want the joy of love here you just pull one more card yeah so there will be a whole passionate brand new beginning with this person and you know that and and then here we go with another ace with the heartache you see, the, the, this is the thing, is that you do have a great love for this person. This person's got to be um, very, very egotistical. Very egotistical. They, they have a strong hold on money. They have a strong hold on passion. They're, they're brutal with the truth. Just um, They seem to attack for no reason over little small things. For some reason, judgment brings it back again. Maybe so that you can learn a lesson out of this or something. Or maybe for them to learn a lesson out of this. And maybe calm and quiet down a bit. We have Aries, Gemini. All signs here, Sagittarius, Cancer. Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, Sedge, and Virgo. Okay, Scorpio, that's what I have for you today with you and your person. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.